Okay guys, so we're gonna be working on a 2010 Nissan Sentra. Just did an oil change on that Honda Civic. My oil change just got done on my car and now we're gonna be doing this car. Don't have a Nissan on my channel, so let me show you guys. Honestly, it's really easy to work on it. As you can see right here is the oil filter. Pretty easy to access, not that hard. My car, it's up top right here. On the Honda Civics, it's on the bottom to the left really pain in the butt to get it because it's really easy access to get the filter but it just spills everywhere so this one this one it is gonna spill but at least it's gonna come off really easy so not too hard and then to fill it up it's just right over here it is a little bit tight on there so i'll show you guys how to take it off so let's go ahead and start it first thing you do is jack up the car and then you're gonna get under it and then you're gonna take it off and then i bought this new oil filter for the car Micro guard. I usually use Wix, but wanted to give this one a shot. It says 10k miles, and since this car doesn't really get driven that crazy amount, I feel like a filter that might last a little bit longer should be the should do the trick. Now we're getting under the vehicle, and this car doesn't have the skid plate, but as you can see, right here is the oil pan, and then right above it, oil filter. So you could do it from underneath the vehicle, or you could do it from on top of the vehicle if you wanted to access the oil filter. I'm most likely just going to do it from the top just because I got long arms. And then to drain the oil, the oil bolt, it's right behind it. Right. Right there, as you can see, right there is the oil filter um, bolt. So we're going to crack that open and then drain it out. Okay, so I cracked it open. The oil is draining out. And all you're going to need is a 14 millimeter 